All right, this is a new angle for us. I have a little chest harness. So if you guys want to um, let us know if this is a bad angle, we're experimenting. And I've been wanting to do this white on whites ever since I did the, the last two, but this is going to be completely white on white. But we're going to put these transparent glow-in-the-dark UV pigments in it. We got a purple and a blue, which it should just stay clear, you know. Um, and I'm going to put white. I'm going to use this amazing, what is this, Lorez? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that stuff is awesome. So, this is the cup that does five and five, right? Or is, that's the bigger one. Give me that water. This is what we do. This is how we measure our stuff. It's very scientific. It's very e-science. Very, like... So depending on how much we want to make, we have a cup that we know if we fill it up to here with resin and then one, two, three, four, five lines up, that's basically one to one. one, to one. But I think this cup is smaller. So what I'll do is I fill it up to there and then I'll take this one Second one, I gotta get used to this camera angle. Fill it up to that same point and pour it in. And now, let's see here. I have to kind of move this. So we just count one, two, three, four, five, six, up to the sixth line. I need a marker. Hold on. We got one. And see, that's the fun thing with this. <laughs> you guys go everywhere I go now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we know. But you have to make sure. I'm going to have to get a new cup because that one's got water in it. Yeah, both of them do. Well, you just dry it off. Give me the, I need a rag, hold on. You guys get to come with me now. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I think we got a seller for this one. No, I'm sorry, a buyer. For Can you just drop a nope? For a neon, I didn't do nope. You wanted to, I heard it. This is how this guy turned out. He's upside down. I'm pretty sure I see an eel. You see him? There's the eyes. It's very Pixar. We're going to refine this filigree resin deal. Yeah, we're going to redo that. I definitely want to do that. You know, for you not getting down here to see where you're pouring at, you kind of nailed it. Well, I, I can see it. <laughs> We don't want glitter on our resin today. Mm -hmm. Although glitter is always good. Is it difficult getting used to doing it with Well, it, I feel like I could, it would be in camera view, but since this camera is so amazing, it kind of, it, uh, what's, zooms in a tad bit. So I've just got to keep my hands out and everything inside. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make, um, we're going to come up with the ATD design. What we'll do is we'll probably do a couple and then have y'all vote on them. For a shirt? Yeah, just for a shirt. Then we have another idea that we want to do, but that's secret. Um, it stems from uh, my childhood and art class, which I think will be amazing to do. So just stay tuned. And, also, uh, we've heard all of y'all's requests for videos, and we have written them all down on our idea board. I want to say yes, that she is wearing the ugliest sweater of all. 
I got it for an ugly sweater situation. <laughs> Don't be mad at my high llama. All right, so let's do this. We'll do the, and another thing that's awkward is this is in my view. Mm. Like I can't see anything from here down. So it's all blocked. So this is a board, right? Yep. When you prepped it with like an off gray? I, I, I got some white and, uh, ooh, I need gloves. Um, and if you're ever wondering what the type of gloves we use, they're Gorilla. No, Grease Monkey. Same difference, but not really. Very durable. And if you take them off carefully, you can, you can use them a couple times. But I think that's if you... Uh, if you wipe them off with uh, with your alcohol very well. All right. So this is gonna be one, <laughs> one color, we'll hope, one color. white and that's it and then we're going to put some of those glow in the dark pigments and this is the thing um a lot of people they ask why why is it that mine is so muddy and what i've kind of come to realize is people worry about the bubbles a lot well they're going to be there they're going to be they can be there the whole time if you just mess with it a little bit don't worry about the bubbles don't heat it so much it won't get as muddy. You won't be messing with it so much. Um, I just heated this up because I need it to be a little thinner so I can spread it around. Otherwise it would be kind of a little tackier and, and that. And see these bubbles, they'll be there, they'll go away. This is like, I guess you would call it first person like in a video game. Choose your weapon. How, is that how to do it? <laughs> I don't know. Not a video gamer? I was a Mario person. We didn't have weapons. All right, so flowers and this will be for the white, because I know that we're going to use in some. This will be for the blue. This will be for the purple. You don't need a lot, I don't think, just because um, it's glow-in-the-dark, and we're not mixing it into the white. We're just going to pour it directly on probably over the white we love this stuff this is Larez. who can you order this from Sus Susanna yeah her company is Larez. but Susanna Danks if you're in the United States it's best on shipping if you go through Laura that way Laura who Usher Laura Usher. That way, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg in shipping because we do it in like a group bulk order. Yeah. Trick in the system. <sighs> I wanted to put just a little bit more in there just because. So you can take the stick out and see how, how opaque it is. If I can still see the stick, I don't, I don't like that. So, you don't want to mix that together, so use the other end. It doesn't take a lot, but I like my white to be really opaque. So what was I saying about muddy? Um, you were saying Just that about, if you add too much heat, it'll get muddy, because yeah. that's when it'll want to mix with the other colors, instead yeah. of just lay next to other colors. I think that's how I did, I did uh, that filigree piece the other day. All right, so all I want to do, what I really want to do on this is just put maybe in the center and then kind of go out. And then I'm going to take my hands and just kind of wind it through. Or should I tilt it? I would always tilt with uh, white. So let's do this. 
Maybe some in the middle. Let's just do the circle thing like I always do. Let's just do like I always do. Well, so that way it's there's some lines and you get the negative space. So funny when I put the when I when I put the white down in my head I'm like I have to put a color down. <laughs> Let's see here. Tilting. Tilting. Sorry, you can't see that, guys. I have another angle. I'm trying to do some get some lacing in here. I'm gonna take some clear and put it in there to separate some of that. When you pour clear on top of a color, it pushes the color away. So, If you're doing a piece and you find it's got too much of something that's, that needs to be broken up, just add some clear. It almost looks like you're working on a rose. The problem is I don't see any lacing. It's starting to come out right there. I think you need to tilt off and let the white get thinner. Like, not I with think the so heat. too. Not with the heat, but just on top of itself. I'm just gonna make it thinner here and then we'll tilt it a little bit. I'll see if I can bring you guys with me here. There we go. Let's... You can take the uh, the heat gun and put it on there, and it will it will definitely promote it to get thinner. You can put heat where you want it to melt or where you want it to drip, and then put it underneath it so it goes a little faster. Directional running. Yeah. I like this. And I think that it will, it'll sell now that it's thinner. Put some heat on it. Give it a, give it a second. All right, now we're gonna mix these guys in. Purple. I wanna be kind of generous with this, so. I really want it to glow. This is blue. I almost wish you had more white so it's like a puddle pour. I just don't want to cover it up. I don't want to cover those up. Mm -mm. But this is what I'm going to do. I might lose you guys here because I'm going to blow on this. I loved it. I know that there's color in this, and you can't see it. Any idea where the black light is? It's in here. <laughs> I'm blowing on it, guys. Sorry, I lost you there. All right. <laughs> it made not darkness in here. But you could see it. Oh, wow.
Can you guys see it? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> I'm just moving across if you want to like move back with it. I feel like I should have done the the UV light first. I think so too. That way it would have been in all underneath. Way. Yeah. It's like it's firing it up. Mm -hmm. Like it charges. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more of the glow? Oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> Hold on. We need something sharp. Do you want one of these? Yeah. But that's the fun thing about resin. It goes back. Guess I better clean that off. That's going to stick to everything. Oh, God, I love that stuff. Look at that. I put a little bit too much heat in that cup. But B, look at this in. <laughs> okay, ready? We're going to pour it. It's getting hot. Dude, this is so wicked. Let's all say it together. What's Erica's word? Bananas. <laughs> wow. Blow it or leave it? I think I just want to leave it. Is it too hard of lines? Let's just see. It doesn't show up. It shows up a tiny bit. I think if it's darker, it'll be better. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Oh, but that looks so rad. So yeah, I think we should do underneath first, then white. Oh God, that's gonna look so amazing. So this is round one. I'm sure we'll do round two, but this is like. It reacts well with everything that we use too. Mm -hmm. Like that's crazy cell lift. Like, like, let me show you guys the difference here. It's still charged. Mm -hmm. The purple's still a bit purple. And that's a shitty, uh, like $10 UV light. Like if we had a really nice, bold one i think it would be amazing those cells are bananas like those are great too over there Where i think i think that's what that's what does it you put a layer down put the white down put another swishy layer blow it tilt it then there's where the cells come from when you say swishy you mean white i mean clear yeah, kind of. Even with, that's a really high intensity, yeah, like hella light, and it still shows a little bit. I don't even have the flat. Like it's over there. Let's see if I tone this down. Hold on, I'm gonna take you guys out of this harness. That's what. No. I turned the the light down a little bit on my phone so you could definitely see it. Gosh. Regular, turn it all the way down. Beautiful. Love it, I put it in the corners too, so it looks kinda cool. Wow, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, this there you go. Great test. Our first successful glow, glow in, the in the dark. This is how this guy turned out. He's upside down. I'm pretty sure I see an eel. You see him? There's his eyes. He's very quick sort. We're gonna refine this filigree resin deal. We didn't heat up our resin today. It is a beautiful day outside in the neighborhood. But you know, for you not getting down here to see where you're pouring it, you kind of nailed it. Well, I, I can see it. 
So this is a board, right? Yeah. And you prepped it with like an off gray? I, I, I got some white and, uh, ooh, I need gloves. Um, and if you're ever wondering the type of gloves we use, they're Gorilla. No, Grease Monkey. Same difference, but not really. Very durable. And if you take them off carefully, you can, you can use them a couple times. But I think that's if you, uh, if you wipe them off with, uh, with your alcohol very well. All right. So this is going to be one, <laughs> one color. We'll hope one color. So we had flowers and mushrooms. This will be for the white, because I know that we're gonna use in some. This will be for the blue. This will be for the purple. We don't need a lot, I don't think, just because um, it's glow in the dark, and we're not mixing it into the white. We're just gonna pour it directly on, probably over the white. We love this stuff. This is Larez. Who can you order this from? Sus Susanna? Yeah, her company is Larez, but- Susanna Danks. If you're in the United States, it's best on shipping if you go through Laura. That way- Laura who? Usher. Laura Usher. That way you don't have to pay an arm and a leg in shipping because we do it in like a group bulk order. So you can- take the stick out and see how how opaque it is if I can still see the stick I don't I don't like that so you don't want to mix that together so use the other end it doesn't take a lot but I like my white to be really opaque Do. What I really want to do on this is just put maybe in the center and then kind of go out and then I'm going to take my hands and just kind of wind it through or should I tilt it? I would always tilt with uh, white. So let's do this. So funny when I put the when I when I put the white down in my head I'm like I have to put a color down. <laughs> I'm gonna take some clear and put it in there to separate some of that. When you pour clear on top of a color, it pushes the color away. So if you're doing a piece and you find it's got too much of something that's, that needs to be broken up, just add some clear. Like this and I think that it will it'll sell now that it's thinner put some heat on it give it a, give it a second these guys in. Purple? I want to be kind of generous with this, so I really want it to glow. Yeah. 
the other one is blue. This is blue. That's purple. Blue. Looks great. I just want to go get a black light. No, you have to turn out all the lights. <laughs> it made not darkness in here. But you can see it. Oh, wow. Can you guys see it? Oh my God, you can. <laughs> I'm just moving across if you want to like move back with it. I feel like I should have done the, the UV light first. I think so too, that way it would have been in all Underneath, way. yeah. It's like it's firing it up. Mm -hmm. Like it charges. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's all the way over here. Turn the opposite way. Do you have any more of the glow? <sighs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Hold on, we need something sharp. Do you want one of these? Yeah. But that's the fun thing about resin. It goes back. Guess I better clean that off. That's gonna stick to everything. Any more? Yeah, I have a little bit in each. I almost wish it was, but I just don't want to mess this up, so I don't want to tell you what to do at all. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! I put a little bit too much heat in that cup. But B, look what this did. <laughs> okay, ready? We're gonna pour it. It's getting hot. It's gonna separate. I feel like it's fine to separate and just blow on it. Dude, this is so wicked. Two hard lines. Let's just see. It doesn't show up. It shows up a tiny bit. I think if it's darker, it'll be better. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Purple definitely glows a lot better than the blue. I think maybe because I put more in there. That's why. Sorry guys, I'm trying to put these windows down. And that really does not do anything. <laughs> Oh, but that looks so rad. So yeah, I think we should do underneath first, then white. Oh God, that's gonna look so amazing. So this is round one. I'm sure we'll do round two, but this is like. It reacts well with 
everything that we use too. Mm -hmm. Like that's crazy cell lift. Like, like, let me show you guys the difference here. It's still charged. Mm -hmm. The purple's still a little bit purple. And that's a shitty, uh, like ten dollar UV light. Like, if we had a really nice, bold one, I think it would be amazing. The cells are bananas. Like those are great too over there. Very I think I think that's what that's what does it. You put a layer down. Put the white down, put another swishy layer, blow it, tilt it, then there's where the cells come from. When you say swishy, you mean white? I mean clear? Yeah, kind of. Even with, that's a really high intensity, yeah. like hella light, and it still shows a little bit. I don't even have the flat, like, it's over there. Let's see if I turn this down. Hold on, I'm going to take the guys out of this harness. That's what? No. All right, y'all. Sorry about the vanity lights. I just wanted to show you where we are on this piece. It's been setting for a few hours now, and I'm putting the video together, so I needed to go ahead and see what it looks like so I can add that for y'all. Looks pretty good as just like a white on gray. But let's see what happens. I have this black light handy. Not the best black light, but you know, whatever. Maybe it'll come on, maybe it won't. There it is. Okay. So, we went off again. Alright. Let me get the lights. y'all could see it in person like it all looks different colors maybe it'll just charge up I wish it would focus Let's turn this off and it's still glowing y'all. It is glow in the dark. I misunderstood. I thought it was just black light focus. So that's what the piece looks like with the black light off just in the dark. <laughs> 